Hello America, Tony McMillan, Walnut Ridge Family RV Sales, and we have a new show. Uh, we're going to do some really cool things this year. We don't have a name for it yet, so everybody needs to get involved, but more importantly, this is my fantastic co-host, Mallory Masters. Um, you know, hey, say, say hello to everybody. Hello, everyone. So we're going to talk about a bunch of cool stuff. There's a bunch of cool uh, trends coming in the RV industry. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, you know, as long as I've been in the RV industry, there's just a lot of questions that I have and, and things like that that I have from, from people who camp. I know I camp, Mallory and her family camp. Yeah. So, um, you know, one of the questions that we've been talking about uh, lately, especially between Mallory and I, is the fact of um, there are a couple different ways that people camp. I'm a seasonal camper and I travel yeah with my camper so you know there's a lot of different you know everybody has different takes on it you know whether you know whether they camp you know traveling yeah. or whether they do it seasonal um, you know what's you know what's some of the things you like about travel camping I mean the thing I like about travel camping is we use our coach a lot just so we don't have to stay in a hotel. Like if we go to a wedding or, you know, we're just out of town for some reason, it's nicer to take our coach with us, our fifth wheel, and then I can take all my dogs with me. I don't have to worry about boarding them. So it just gives a better experience, also saves us money in the long run. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, and you and your family camp in a? It's a fifth wheel. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you, you know, you guys, and, and you travel, at, you know, what, what kind of distances are you guys traveling? Um, I think, honestly, the farthest we've ever been with it is my husband took it to Alabama for a fishing trip. We've also been to Wisconsin Dells in it. Um, but for the most part, we stay fairly within Indiana. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And I know you're a seasonal camper, so you can probably tell them yeah. the perks of that. So, you know, we, we love, you know, we love the idea of seasonal camping. We like the fact that, you know, we don't ever unload the refrigerator. You know, the, the reality is we leave, you know, we have, we've got extra clothes in the campground so we can go whenever. And one of the things I think that we enjoyed more than anything is I think last year, overall, I think we used the camper almost every weekend. Okay. Um, so, you know, we were away from the house and, and you know, just kind of, you know, downtiming and, mm -hmm. and so on like that. And of course, we take the dog and, mm -hmm. and the kids and, and so on like that and go to the campground. Plus, we met a lot of great people. Yeah. But I think one of the things that that's important for some of our audience to realize is, you know, if they're not camping now, mm -hmm. you know, we just came out of the RV Expo. Yes. And, you know, you hear a lot of people talking about, well, I got to, you know, I got to get a tow vehicle. My mm -hmm. truck's not big enough. My car's not big enough. Right. You know, and, you know, I don't think a lot of people realize the fact that they could seasonal camp and it doesn't matter what their tow vehicle is. Yes. And then they're not so limited on size and layout and everything. Seasonal camping camping is definitely becoming a bigger thing for yeah. people. You know, the the amount of things at campgrounds, I mean, you know, at, at our campground here mm -hmm. um, that, that we camp in, you know, we've got a saltwater swimming pool. We've got a miniature golf course. We've got a huge playground. You know, we've got all these things. They have hay rides and different events and live music and karaoke and you know, golf carts and golf right. cart races and all this crazy stuff that goes on at the campground. But you know, I, I think even when when I travel camp, those aren't always things that you get to experience, you mm -hmm. know, and um, there's a campground just across the border in Ohio that you can learn to scuba dive while you're there. Oh, that'd be neat. You know, they got a lake and, and you can learn to scuba dive. So, you know, I think one of the things that, that is important for, for you know, people in the audience to realize is, you know, just because you don't have a vehicle to tow doesn't mean that you can't be out there every weekend and, you know, right. sitting underneath the awning and getting, you know, mosquito bites and all right. the cool stuff that goes along with it, you know. So you got to know a little bit about us, how we camp, and I think that's going to bring a lot to the show, too. So now we're going to get into what we would like to do each time we do this show for you. So the first topic we're going to talk about is what's the buzz? <laughs> So you ready, Tony? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's uh, let's do it. All right. So first topic is really about water purifiers. Those are big for people when they're traveling to different campgrounds, may not know what the quality of that water is going to look like, or even a seasonal campground. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, you, you've got a lot of, and uh, you know, 
a lot of your campgrounds have well water. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you've got, you know, rust or, um, you know, sulfur odor or, you know, that, that rotten egg smell and stuff right. like that. So, you know, a lot of times people want to know, you know, how do I deal with that? You know, whether they're, you know, travel camping or seasonal camping. So, right. So one thing we found was the Berkey water filters. The great thing about these, I did a little bit more research on them. You can not only use them for your RV, but you can use them at home. So they offer a lot of great benefits. Um, so I was actually really interested to learn that it can remove up to 203 contaminants from your water, including viruses, bacteria, pesticides, and heavy metals. And they do have a nice travel size available for your camper. Yeah, that's super cool. I know last year we bought a uh, water softener you know, for our camper. Yeah. I, and honestly, I don't think I knew about that thing or I'm, I'd have one. So now I'm going to have to do a little research into having one myself. I want one now. Yeah. yeah they're really interesting. So yeah, definitely do some research on those. So another thing, again, we just came out of the um, Indy RV Expo. So the, the buzz at the show mm -hmm. um, is lightweight, you know, um, you know, in the last few months, you know, obviously being in the RV industry, we kind of have to keep up with a lot of different, yeah. um, a lot of different things, you know, above and beyond the RV industry. So the Chevy Colorado, the GMC Canyon, the Ford Ranger, the Ford Broncos coming back, the Jeep Gladiator, all these things that are, are kind of lightweight towing. And one of the things that I noticed at the RV Expo was all of the buzz about lightweight towable units. Mm -hmm from toy haulers to units that have, you know, tons of sleeping space. Right. You know, um, so a couple things that were kind of the highlight for us, you know, at the, the expo was that 2,500 TH the um, Ozark. Ozark toy hauler. I think you sold one and I sold one of those yeah. at the show and they were super popular mm -hmm. and lightweight. Um, and then everybody, I think everybody fell in love with that Passport 3,400 Oh, the quad bunk. Yeah, quad, yep. you know, what did we figure up? It sleeps 14 people 14 in, people. you know, in that unit. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, the Waltons, you know, could all go <laughs> and take the Walton grandkids. I mean, that was, that was pretty amazing. So, you know, tons of stuff like that. So some of the other things that are, that are going on is um, um, renovating. Yes, that's becoming a huge thing. You know, even we sell, we see a lot of people coming and purchasing older pre-owned coaches or even coaches that we have listed as is because they're wanting to turn around and renovate them. So we are actually started, we started a project, well, Austin did, of renovating one of our coaches, the 2005 Durango. I know, and I, I was down there the other day and he was putting the backsplash on. Yeah. And, uh, you know, super cool, super cool mm -hmm. idea. Great idea to get kind of the perfect camper, you know, for you and your family with your mm -hmm. own little touch. I don't have the patience for it. Um, but you know, if, if you you know if you haven't been on our website and checked out our video of, of you know the updates on it, mm -hmm. um, it, it's pretty amazing. I was down you know I was down there in Austin, had paint here and there, and it was like you know this color is going to be here and so on like that. But yeah, it's it's a super cool idea, you know, and and obviously you know a lot of people have seen the one millionth uh, Montana. Yes. Uh, that Courtney, the flipping nomad, did, which is is pretty incredible, and yes. and I think that kind of inspired Austin to do it did, yeah. the Durango. So, um, you know, we're we're working on that. I think he said over the weekend that we're 30 days, 30, 45 days away mm -hmm. from being, you know, that project being done, and that's going to be a unit that we're gonna we're going to have available yes. to sell. Yes. So, you know, Austin's put all this, you know, you know, his thought process mm -hmm. and, and love and touches on the unit and, and we're going to be able to sell it. So somebody, you know, somebody in the audience is going to have the opportunity to own that, you know, one of a kind uh, Durango and have a great unit. So, yeah, definitely come in and check it out. Absolutely. All right, guys, the next segment we're going to talk about each week is Gadget Corner. My favorite sections because you know I like all the techie little <laughs> cool stuff and all the silly stuff that you can buy so um, you know I one of the biggest ones that that we've seen as of lately is um, the influx in rear observation cameras yes. not backup cameras but a rear observation camera because they can be on at any time so if you're on 465 around Indianapolis or traveling on the interstate you can use it like a rear view mirror make sure you're not gonna run over somebody on a 
scooter or a motorcycle or a smart car. Mm -hmm. um, but the amount of units that now um, come with the uh, the pre-wired, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the pre-wired, so you can do turn signal cameras or backup cameras, um, you know, and even, you know, some of the motorized units have those from the factory, which is really right. cool. So, and I have to speak, and probably a lot of people can relate to this, how many women are stuck out there directing their husband to park <laughs> the coach and to back it in, right? Yeah, have, so let me ask you this, how many fights do you think have started in the campground when, oh gosh, when, you know, the, you know, he's not paying attention. Let's, let's face it. We're not real, uh, us guys. We're not really paying attention. The, you know, your wife's screaming at the top of your lungs because you're going to back into the stub out for the electric out outlet. And she's yes. screaming and waving her hands. And we hit it anyway. And then we blame yeah. it on her. I was saying, you know? if you wanted to know how many fights in my marriage personally start that way, <laughs> I could probably name quite a few. Yeah, yeah. So they're helpful, ladies. Yeah. They are. Uh, you know, and it just, you know, and, and, you know, obviously that's a much less expensive alternative, yes. you know, to have a set of walkie talkies, um, you know, rather than the, the side view cameras or the backup cameras or anything like that. But, you know, and those are all things, you know, the, the rear observation camera and the um, side view cameras can be added to any, any RV. They don't mm -hmm. have to be factory prepped. So, you know, even if you're running around with that 78 Shasta, um, you know, you can, you can, you can add them. I mean, yeah. you can have all that cool stuff and, um, you know, just the, just keeps you from yelling at each other. Exactly. And a lot of the class C's and the class A's, those are already factory installed. So, and they've got the side view as well. So yep. it definitely helps you save that argument. Maybe you can enjoy camping a little bit more. That first night's always a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the other things in industry news. If you haven't been out to take a look at some of the new stuff, everybody's going to this lighter woodwork color, this uh, light colored wood, mm -hmm. kind of an off gray color, super popular. I know it was crazy at the show. Yes. Um, you know, even high downs kind of jumped on that ba that bandwagon. So I think we actually had more interest in the Montanas this show because of that interior change. Yeah, yeah the, the new maple interior on the Montana is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. I mean... Um, people just couldn't talk, you know, they, they couldn't talk enough about how open right. the entire coach looks. And right. even, even if you've got, um, you know, traditionally you have people that travel with pets. Yeah. So they want darker colored upholstery because, you know, the dog hair and the dogs finding the mud puddles and all that other stuff, let alone if they're traveling with kids or grandkids. Right. But that light color woodwork, even if you've got a dark colored interior right. um, or upholstery, it just really makes that coach super light and and a lot of nice things too is they're fading away from so much carpet yeah in the rvs which is nice because nobody asks for a camper with the most carpet so I, you know i don't <laughs> think i've ever had anybody do that nope nope you know. <laughs> but uh you know but uh, me i still can't understand why everybody wants so much storage you know the only thing i need is a pair of shorts a t-shirt and my flip-flops and i'm <laughs> i'm good to go at the campground but <laughs> That, maybe it's just me. Uh, that you know. might be just you. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, I'm good from there. Next thing, you know, we're going to talk about is, you know, some of the stuff you've seen on the web. <laughs> you know, by all means, guys, we want to see um, our, you know, as our audience, send us some of your cool camping pictures. Send us those. Um, and, and not just the ones of, you know, hey, here we are at Yellowstone National Park. You know, you know, you guys have funny ones. Yeah. You know, you the ones that, you know, if you did back into the stub out at the campground, you know, <laughs> maybe not the argument part, not the fight or anything like that. You know, please don't send those. But, you know, or, you know, the the cornhole tournament that that broke out at the campground with the new friends that you met at the campground. That, yeah. You know, you might remember their first names and what kind of camper they had, but you don't really know who they are or where they were. But you spent a weekend and, you know, you made lifetime friends for 72 hours at the campground or, you know, send us some of those kind of things or the, the places that you guys like to go, whether you, you know, and, and that goes whether you seasonal camp or you travel camp. I mean, you know, if there's funny things that happen, you know, share those with us guys. We're, you know, the good thing is we're all part of the same RV family mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, that's, that's just the cool thing. So. Well, one you know, cool thing we do have from the web that was brought to our attention 
is a self-service RV park. So I know a lot of people have been in this before with traveling with your coach. You know, you pull over into a Walmart parking lot, right? And that's where you are for the night until you start going. Well, there's a place southwest of St. Louis, I believe it was West Sullivan on Interstate 44, that is actually coming up with an overnight stay for travel trailers and campers as they're coming through. Hmm. And, you know, even, you know, course class A's and class C's, they provide water, electric, um, even sewer, and you, they also offer internet. So it's really cool. Um, I believe they were charging $39 for the first 16 hours, and it actually gets cheaper the longer you stay, but it's nice to know that you can actually stay somewhere and not get booted out because right. a lot of parking lots don't let you stay. Like you've got your Walmarts, you've got your rest stops, but at least something like this, you actually have water, electric, and sewer hooked up. Mm. So this is awesome. I wish more places like this would start to pop up all over the place. Yeah, and you know, it gives you a place where, you know, if you, you take off, you know, I went to visit my son in North Carolina um, a couple weeks ago, and, and after working all day on Friday, mm -hmm. got home, picked up my wife and our 13-year-old, and we drove, you know, 12 and a half hours down mm -hmm. to uh, North Carolina. And, you know, so after being up 24 hours straight, you know, how nice would it be to right. have those places that you felt safe and comfortable that you could pull in and just get, you know, six, seven, eight hours of, of sleep but you could dump your holding tanks or fill yeah. your freshwater tank mm -hmm. if you're going to boondock camp um, or dry camp or rough camp, whatever you're going to call it, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just a great idea. Yeah. I know with me alone with three little kids, I would feel better staying something like that than in a parking lot yeah. somewhere. So. Yeah. so some other things we'd like to see, you know, as we're going forward on this show, remember, we don't have a name for it yet. So uh, make sure you, you know, send in some ideas or some comments. Um, or some some ideas. I know I've mentioned a couple, and our producers keep saying that they're absolutely horrible. So we're not we're we not. We need help. Yeah, <laughs> I, apparently I need help. Um, but also, guys, some cool. You know, send us some cool camping hacks. Send us cool recipes. You know, things like that. Things that you guys you know like to do when you're camping, and and you know, um, just remember we're going to share them with people though. So. You know, send us those cool things like that. You know, maybe we'll, uh, you know, feature your picture on one, one of our episodes or, or your recipe. And, um, you know, as far as I know, we'll give you complete credit for it. So, and we might even be able to send you some money. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> It'll probably be a gift card. Uh, but, you know, hey, super cool. Yeah. And, uh, you know, all that great stuff. So, but I, you know, just really excited about this new format of show, I mean, a lot of, you know, a lot of the you know, people that are watching this have seen our other videos and the goofy videos and the silly things. And, um, but, you know, we're kind of to the point where we felt like, you know, there needs to be a little more sus sustenance in and a lot of changing in the mm -hmm. industry. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad everybody's tuning in with us. So, yeah, you guys will have great hacks, recipes, things that maybe me, me and Tony can take and learn from. Yeah. So. yeah. And I, you know, I, they didn't tell me no. So, you know, if you got a great cocktail recipe, you might share <laughs> even a great cocktail recipe with us. Yes, those are um, good. I'm, you know, I'm a huge Bloody Mary fan. <laughs> so, you know, I like those. And, but, uh, you know, just anything like that, guys. So send us your hacks, uh, your camping hacks. Send us your cocktail or food recipes. Send us some of those pictures. Um, and you can send the ones about, hey, here we are with the grandkids at the Grand Canyon or anything like that. But, you know, share some of that cool stuff with us. We'd love to see it. And, uh, you know, like I said, you might even get a gift card in the mail. So, yeah, I'm excited. This yeah. is going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So, hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Tony. I'm Mallory. And we're in a show that nobody knows the name yet. So <laughs> send us the name, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>